want to welcome you to this overview video and introduce you to what Ingenta's Org Manager can do for you and your organization. Today, we're going to focus on the all-important area of diversity and inclusion in the workplace. You'll find also at ingentis.com, we do have various white papers, which also show how our solution is actually used to address various business use cases. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now is we're going to take a closer look into diversity and inclusion in the workplace. So let's take a look at what Org Manager can do from a reporting standpoint. And again, the use case and concept here is to get a gain a better understanding of the composition of your workforce when it comes to diversity. What we have here is a simple dashboard view showing diversity metrics, and you can see they're broken up into five broad based categories. Of course, these can be all configured. And in this case, we're using uh, index scoring as the basis for all the overall scores we see for each department that's shown in this view. And what this dashboard is showing us, uh, let's assume I'm taking the role of a DNI officer. I'd like to learn more about which departments seem to be trailing uh, with uh, the various diversity metrics based on what grouping I'm looking at. So whether it's ethnicity or people of color, gender, a percentage of female in the workplace, age being age 40 and over, uh, persons with disability or veteran status, we can get a breakdown of every department throughout our organization. Uh, we can e easily and automate this process of importing any data uh, from a uh, HR system of record, so we can have this data at our fingertips. And again, this is helping us identify what are our trailing departments. What we can also do with visualization roles is if we want to focus on departments of a certain employee count. So let's say, for example, for my dashboard, I want to filter out departments with less than, say, seven or uh, we'll just pick uh, 10 employees as an example. Here, we're now limiting uh, these metric counts so just those trailing departments that have uh, more than 10 employees only. So those that are less than 10 are being filtered out. And as I take this scale down, you'll notice we get a live refresh and update of our screen. So as we in, in, introduce smaller size departments, we can then account for those to see how they're doing with their uh, overall diversity score. So again, this is providing us with one view. And again, it's based on an index score, which through the chart legend, the, through the legend that I'm showing here at the very top, uh, we're showing the counts based on US census data. So uh, composition of the US uh, population is 40% people of color, 51 female, age 40 and greater is at 42%. Persons with disability just actually dropped recently to down to 7%. And also veteran status dropped just recently as well down to six percent so these are our benchmarks that we're using but of course we can use industry specific benchmarks based on the uh, company that's using this type of solution to uh, understand the composition of their workforce speaking of composition of the workforce we can also do it using an org chart view so this comes in very handy so everybody's familiar with a hierarchical view of their organization by department so here for example we're looking at the finance department and what falls under finance's span of control with various departments and again we have this overall index score that's looking at all five areas for diversity which you're also seeing off here to the right ethnicity through uh, people of color through veteran status and if the score is 100 that would match perfectly the benchmark that we've used and of course any score over 100 would be excellent that would be uh, a green we'll show that number in green just to point out that is at or above the uh, index score that we're using for our measurement and again we're looking at those five different areas whether it's uh, persons of color going through females uh, age 40 and greater disability status and veteran status. What we can also do from this view is we can navigate the view. So if I double click to move up from finance, we can move up one level in the organization. And again, we can see the numbers here. I can also click to get a in-depth view of not only the department I'm looking at, um, but also the entire span that reports into that department. So the benefit of this view, quite simply put, is to understand where are you at today with diversity? What is the composition of your workforce based on these five key metrics that are typically tracked? So if you're doing some DNI investment or if you're looking for departments you want to focus on, you'll have a very easy uh, various views you can focus on, whether it's a dashboard view or this org chart view. So you can focus on those organizations 
and, and see over time how they're performing from that perspective. One thing, one last thing I do want to mention about what I've shown you today is you'll notice that I haven't shown you any employee names uh, that are attached as far as who might be of a certain ethnicity group. That is certainly an option. So for example, for succession planning or looking at external candidates for recruiting purposes, we can also provide views that would also show a breakdown by employee should they fall under any of these categories. But this again is meant to be a holistic view without pulling in any specific employee named data so we can just focus on the numbers so again i hope this was helpful to you again all these views can be easily configured and customized uh, to work to help meet your needs but again this is all about helping you understand the composition of your workforce when it comes to diversity and inclusion and i thank you again for watching today